The all new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. And are off. Denecho and Mr. Lewis, the in between horses, is took over the favorite, pushing up with pace while three wide. When the doves cry, and technically speaking, on the outside, four and a half lengths covers them. It's Mr. Lewis, Justin Tron. Trump took over second. And when the doves cry, is now into third. Denecho backs off, has dropped to last position, passed by technically speaking, who's got four to make up into the far turn. The duel, Mr. Lewis, and took over on the outside, three lengths in front of when the doves cry, and technically speaking, and Denecho tail off midpoint on the turn and it is took over getting that head in front from mr lewis on the inside is continuing to battle gamely under a ride when the doves cry is third and technically speaking and derecho and they're into the stretch took over trying to shake free drifting a little center of the track in front now two and a half from mr lewis in second when the doves cry last eighth of a mile and here's took over took over johan rosado in front by three lengths when the doves cry moves solidly to second it's took over took over Popular winner in the opener took over, took over to win by four or five when the doves cry. And Mr. Lewis and the Decho, technically speaking. And they're off. Sugar Shack on the inside, Atlantic Avenue, and Post Perfection on the outside. And Fashion Week is right there, too. And then You Shall Not Pass is racing outside of Pantyhose, the back. Five lengths will cover that field. Where Atlantic Avenue, just in front now from Post Perfection on the outside, the matching strides. Post Perfection outside, Atlantic Avenue down to the inside, leaving Sugar Shack a length and a half behind in third. Fashion Week is fourth, and Pantyhose still inside in fifth. And You Shall Not Pass is sixth. As they move past the four and a half, the opening quarter went in. 23.35. So good pace going out there. And the inside is Atlantic Avenue. Post Perfection still in the duel on the outside. And Sugar Shack getting closer once again. Here's Fashion Week out in the clear. Fashion Week begins a bid while three deep, three furlongs to go. Panty Hose is trailing the field. It is still Atlantic Avenue and Post Perfection going at it. And they're joined by Fashion Week who cruises up three wide after a half and 46.81. And Sugar Shack is just in behind the lead. Coming wide into the stretch. Into the stretch now. 
now. And it is Fashion Week. Fashion Week is in front from the driving Atlantic Avenue. Survive the duel and Sugar Shack out in the center of the track trying to pick up very late. Sugar Shack is charging out of the middle of the track, but Fashion Week is in front. Fashion Week with a two-length lead as they're close to the lower line from Sugar Shack. It's Fashion Week. Fashion Week to win about a length and a half or two from Sugar Shack second. Atlantic Avenue was third. And Post Perfection finished fourth. Pantyhose fifth. And they're off. Legal precedent, here comes Michael. Glory Hound with a good break, too. A true gentleman from the inside post is up to join the pace as well. Here's Centcom racing along in fifth position. Sensational Notion and Chief Tari is the last runner. Nine lengths from the front. As Glory Hound, the favorite, works to the lead from legal precedent by ahead. And a true gentleman, third of the inside. Sensational Notion racing in fourth. And Centcom is fifth. Here comes Michael, settles back in sixth position about the three path. And Chief Tari at the back of the pack. 23.81 was the opening quarter mile. Heading past the five turn, a four for a long mark. And it is Glory Hound just in front. And two gentlemen battles back on the inside. A true gentleman now has grabbed the lead. And legal precedent is third. And the inside, Centcom getting underway, taking the third position. Now sensational notion, three deep on the turn. Here comes Michael near the inside. Another five, and Chief Tari is last of them all. Glory Hound then a 47.04 half mile, getting away a bit now from a true gentleman who's working harder and out in the middle is Centcom in third as they straighten for home and it's Glory Hound and Upper Stretch in Weston Hamilton. They're opening up now two and a half in front from a true gentleman second then Centcom. Here comes Michael is fourth and the last furlong it's Glory Hound kept to task here. Glory Hound with three in front from a true gentleman coming to the line and Centcom third Glory Hound. Glory Hound at true gentleman then Centcom. Here comes Michael maybe Chief Tari over legal precedent. And they're off. Snow Queen for the deep outside. Gingeresque a good break. And now here's Cherokee Fire sent up there too is Caressas. So Caressas just in front from Cherokee Fire and Gingeresque on the outside. As Snow Queen is back in fourth. Drops some four off the pace. Passed by Holiday Magician. The favorite gray is underway on the inside. Taking the fourth spot. And back to Tis a doozy. And last is do it for Spite as they charge into the far turn run. Caressas clicked off at 22.69. Uh, Opening two furlongs. Leads at three quarters of a 
length from Long Shot Cherokee Fire. Holiday Magician, very keen up there. Looking good from third position. And Gingeresque is in fourth. Then Snow Queen is fifth. In fact, the Tiz a doozy. Do it for Spite is last. Top of the stretch. And here's Holiday Magician, as always, had run, taking the lead. It will opening up. Opening up now on Gingeresque of the outside and caresses down to the inside. The half 46.63 into the stretch. Holiday Magician now left handed pressure to stay on from Gingeresque, who's running game on the outside. Gingeresque coming on the outside and Holiday Magician near the inside. Gray head in turn from Holiday Magician, but Gingeresque goes by under Pino. Gingeresque, Gingeresque to win it by about a neck. From Holiday Magician second and Cresses was third. And And they're off. From the inside, oh my, Irish Access is right there. And Data Damsel is in between horses out of the chute. Another five lengths back, Mzinga Springs and Unlucky Hillary. A seven or eight from the front runner, oh my. Oh my now leads outright and opens up a two and a half length lead. Six furlongs out to the line. The opening quarter went in 24.03. So it is, oh my, and Sheldon Russell in control out there for the favorite. Irish Access in second. Data Damsel is in third. Another two and a half for three, and unlucky Hillary riding the inside. Umzuma Springs is last of them all. Six lengths covers the field into the far turn. Oh my, from Irish Access. Oh my, three quarters of a length from Irish Access with Data Damsel right there, third position. Then back to Mzuma Springs. Unlucky Hillary, 47.37 was the half mile. So they're coming to the top of the stretch. More than a quarter of a mile to go to the second wire finish. Oh my, turns for home. Irish Access gets a tap to quicken up on the outside. Data Damsel is in third. Out in the center of the track, Mzima Springs in an even pace. And unlucky Hillary. They're coming to the last three sixteenths of a mile. And here's Irish Access and Fergal Lynch on the outside. And down to the inside, oh my, and Sheldon Russell. They're right there in the thick of the battle with a 16th to go. Irish Access just out kicking, oh my. Irish Access and oh my. Irish Access, oh my, trying to come back. Irish Access to win it from oh my. And Data Damsel. And they're off.
Josue was out first, carries for three for the inside. Sing Praises the favorite right to the front. And Sing Praises now right in the stride and opens up about three lengths on Carries Fort Reef and Josue alongside in third. Mountain Cry on the inside of the white colors in fourth and Ice Lake is in fifth. Jiff Quick is in sixth. Drive at night is seventh and about four wide. The far turn run. No hiding place and slide by you are the two in the back. Sing Praises bulleting right along and a 22.18 opening quarter mile has opened up an eight, nine, 10, 11 length lead on Josue. And then it's Ice Lake on the inside as Carries Fort Reef. They're followed the outside by Jiff Quick. Drive at night is the one widest out. In between horses, no hiding places next. And Mountain Cried out of the inside. Slide by you. And they're into the stretch now. And it's Sing Praises. Put to steady pressure still. The sizable advantage there. Double digits in front as Jiff Quick on the outside. Runs into second with a 16th to go. Sing Praises. Dowdles them with footwork today. Sing Praises and Angel Serpent hold. Photo in a four-way go for second. Mountain Cry was in there with Josue along with Moving good. They're lined up. And they're off. Sparkle of Peace squeeze back a bit at the start. Baltimore Babe and Awesome Jazz early speed. And they're joined by Glinda on the outside. Liz's smile stoking up early pace two. And Dendrobi at the rail racing up close, just two and a half from the front. Stormy Sue is followed by Head for the Shore outside and Streets and Fire. Having trouble back there is Sparkle of Peace. Sparkle of Peace racing erratically being eased up out of the race. Into the far turn run. Awesome Jazz speeds out there. Length and a half in front from Glinda second. And Dendrobi out of the inside racing third position. Liz's smile working harder while three wide stormy sue is going to improve now from the inside there stormy sue takes aim at the pace from fourth they're at the top of the stretch where awesome jazz takes them on for home awesome jazz now dendrobia to the outside dendrobia to full attack on awesome jazz for the final furlong stormy sue still getting interested deep in the center of the track is closing a bit green though stormy sue with the far outside closing gradually little by little here comes stormy sue stormy sue and west hamilton firing big in the last 16th of a mile it's stormy sue to get it done. Stormy Sue to win it. Stormy Sue from Dendrobia. Awesome Jazz was third. Head for the shore and Glinda finished fifth. And they're off, Shimmery Aspen, sharp start. But right there, too, and the outside is Crab Cakes. So Shimmering Aspen in front, half length from Crab Cakes. Another two and a half at Haley's Flip. Tracks the leaders in third position, and Moon Virginia is fourth of the four. Shimmering Aspen leads.
crab cakes by about a half length with four and a half furlongs left to go. Haley's flip is in third and Moon Virginia continues fourth out of the clear on the outside. Shamering Aspen down of the rail, a half in front into the far turn from crab cakes. An opening quarter went in 22.97 as they round the far turn. Three lengths in front, Haley's flip spying the favorites from third position then moon virginia left behind and fourth but crab cakes now gets ahead in front crab cakes shimmering aspen working a little harder near the inside haley's flip is third as they make the turn in the half win in 45.55 and crab cakes pours it on opens a two length lead shimmering aspen got a dig is running second to the outside haley's flip is in third but it is crab cakes Crab Cakes looking good, handridden through the final furlong. Crab Cakes just showing the whip. Here is Crab Cakes and Forest Boys, two and a half in front. Haley's Flip was second, Shimmering Aspen was third, and Moon Virginia finished fourth. Running time is sharp, 108.8. And they're off. Smarter than us, Valadier on the outside with early foot two. Ali's lion broke with it, but settles back. Here's for the greater good, speeding up on the inside to take a narrow lead. And Quick Hatch is quick to join the pace as well. I ain't never pushes along to fifth on the inside as they head on to the far turn run. And they're following the outside bit of Dynasty. Ali's lion has dropped back some eight or nine off that lead. And Fear the Reaper is next. They are followed by a fellow and Sun Baram and slams crossing to the back of the pack with easy zip as they are midpoint on that turn. And it is quick hatch on the outside, a narrow lead for the greater good, and Valadir is right there tracking the pace in third. I ain't never is in fourth, and Dub Dynasty far outside in fifth, smarter than us is in sixth, and the inside is Fear the Reaper in seventh. They're into the stretch, and it's quick hatch. Quick hatch is in front. West Hamilton looking for a triple. Quick hatch now in front and pulling away by two with a furlong left to go for the greater good. Valadir on the outside is trying to get going, but on the left lead, and now it's quick hatch. Quick hatch. Triple for West Hamilton. Quick hatch. Quick Quick hatch, big day for Wes. Quick hatch to win by four or five. Valadier was second. It doves dynasty and for the greater good. I ain't never in the picture was smarter than us.